It's, the pattern's been pretty basic all week for me. It's a spinnerbait, contrary to what most people think. Crankbaits aren't my favorite of spinnerbait is, even though I've certainly had plenty of success on deep divers and square bills all of my career. But this is my favorite way to fish, and I got on it the first day of practice about midday, and it's just, I love the way you, you know, you fish. It's pretty easy, the lake's high. Fish want to be deep, but they're not leaving the bushes, so they're getting in the deepest bushes. Uh, the deepest bushes that have are green, that have shade, it's been my pattern. Uh, so if you can find a deep bush closer to the old shoreline, the closest one it's, tends to be where the fish are. And uh, I'm fishing a three-quarter ounce trickster spinnerbait. Uh, it's a, the, the key is spinnerbaits are spinnerbaits are spinnerbaits. The whole the key is blade configuration, and this has that long drop blade on it, and, which I caught the biggest bass in the Bassmaster Classic that's ever been caught on a spinnerbait in the Classic at Toho a 10-something. It's just a big bass bait. Will leaves, everybody likes them, but they catch a lot of fish, but they're not really big bass blades. To make them a big bass blade, you gotta go up to number six or seven will leaf to get the same water displacement that this blade, blade here gets. The problem with that is they're held to throw in the wind. Uh, this blade is smaller, it's about a four and a half, but it displaces a lot of water, and thus that's what catches big fish. Over the years, everybody that really knows spinner baits, uh, know, knew the Colorado and the Indianas, were the, were the real baits to catch big fish. Uh, we don't really have any good spinnerbait fishermen left that I, I recognize. And the main thing they do not understand is what I just talked about there is, is blade configuration uh, and, you know, and the type of blade that you should be using if you really want to catch bigger fish. I designed this long drop blade, oh, about eight years ago because I like a little leaf. Uh, there are certain situations I like to fish them in because they're a numbers bait. Uh, I like them when you're burning, uh, burning it real fast, but uh, I also like in Indiana. First Bassmaster Classic I won, I caught everything on a little square bill, honey, Bagley honeybee, except my five biggest, and my five biggest came waking the Indi two big Indiana bladed, um, uh, you know, baits. So I actually just ended up designing the bait, so instead I wouldn't have to make that decision. I just made a long Indiana, and I call it the long drop. It's kind of a cross between a a long wool leaf and, a, and an Indiana, and so I get the best of both worlds. 